is very beautiful. Adventure time! We would spend the whole day if it was hot. <laughs> I feel like we're in a different place. One of the most beautiful towns in Spain. We're a little bit lost. This is astonishing. Lau found a paradise of a beach. This market is pretty great. It's really good. We had this pending. Welcome to Las Palmas, Gran Canaria. We made it. I'm so excited. We're gonna be spending here about two weeks. We took a bus from the airport. It's way easier than I thought. They come around every 30 minutes or so. And it's about 2.5 euros per person. And the ride to Las Palmas, it's less than 25 minutes. The bus left us right in the center. Now we have to go to the Airbnb. And keep in mind, it's like around 9 a.m. on a Sunday, so it's a little bit of a ghost town around here. Well, it's a one bakery and a supermarket over. Mm. Two more roads. We left the bags in an apartment that they had told us to leave in it. And that's it. And then we come back at 12 to another apartment in the same building, which is like our actual apartment. I found a comfy little cup. We've been away since 2.30 a.m. and I think it's kicking in. We came across a bakery and it has all of the classic goodies from the island. We bought three of them. <laughs> we spent like maybe five to 10 minutes just asking what's the deal with each one. Mm. Just the right amount of sweetness. Look at that. It's like a huge alfajor. I think we could share that with four people. But we're not gonna share with four people. <laughs> Let's go see our new home. <laughs> the good thing about this place is that we actually have a proper desk to work from. Then if we go to the living room, we have the kitchen, the dining table, the sofa, and the balcony. And we are super close to the beach, which is a plus for us. And I had to take a nap to recharge. But this is my first time eating pokey with a fork. <laughs> very beautiful. Our three month Euro trip just keeps getting better and better as the weather starts to warm up. After catching an amazing sunset on the beach, it's time to get groceries. As you've seen from past videos, we always try to do this on the first day. What is all this? And we're all set on our new home on the island. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Adventure time! All right, friends, we rented a car. Lau did her research yesterday, so we have all the spots that are worth visiting. Since we want to drive the entire island, Lau picked spots along the drive that look cool to stop at. I'm excited to see where we end up. This is Agaete, the natural pools. It's about 30 minutes from Las Palmas. Natural pools are one of the best parts of visiting the canneries. There are a ton of them around the island, but after our research, we discovered that this location was one of the best. It's pretty early, so it looks like we are one of the first few people here, which means we have to hurry up to take a dip. It is a bit cold outside, so let's see how the water is. Yep, definitely freezing. It's more like a cold plunge. <laughs> This looks very peaceful, but I was actually freezing. These natural pools are a must see for sure. We spent here maybe more than an hour? Probably. In the cold. We would spend the whole day if it was hot. <laughs> right after we visited Finca La Laja in Agaete. 
This farm has been open for over 200 years and we had the opportunity to do a guided tour and a tasting. I love limes. Mm -hmm. There's oranges, limes and lemons and lots of grapes for wine and coffee. There is four very important facts that they share about coffee during the tour. However, we are not really coffee drinkers. But if you are, I highly recommend coming so you can learn them and then remind me what they were. Wow. Very, very good. Like, actually, very good. I tried it, but I can confirm I'm still not a coffee drinker. I loved this experience, and the coolest part is that they are one of the only creators and roasters of coffee here in all of Europe. Now there's more places starting to be developed, but they've actually been doing it for over 200 years, which is absolutely wild. So I'm so glad that we had the opportunity. Plus they unite coffee with the wine. They have tons of fruit. Like the experience here has been 10 out of 10. And we're off to the next stop. Let's go to the Heda town. <laughs> we are in Norland, midway to the town. This road is like super narrow, but the views are worth it. I feel like I'm not in an island anymore. No. We're like in, I don't know, <laughs> in the middle of... Like a forest. We passed a forest full of pines. Then we've been going up like this. Do, 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 like curve after curve after curve. We made it to Tejeda. I feel like we're in a different place. I don't know why we always get to the places at the siesta time. I think it's a trend now. We arrive around three, four, and then it's a ghost town. There's a poster that says one of the most beautiful towns in Spain. I mean, this is beautiful, very beautiful. I wonder if they gave themselves that acknowledgement. <laughs> Everything is closed, besides the town bakery and a food truck that sells burgers and hot dogs. Epic view, epic hot dogs, epic time, epic company. The best food truck I've ever experienced. This was our incredible view from the food truck. I'm ready for my dessert. <laughs> it was time to head to the only bakery that was open. Now we're on a mission to catch the sunset from... One of the highest points of all of Spain, basically. It's a little bit cloudy, so cross your fingers. We made it to El Pico de las Nieves. <laughs> but as you can see, it's cloudy. But at least we have an idea uh, of what it would be like. <laughs> <laughs> it should be beautiful. I'm gonna look for pictures on the internet. <laughs> wow, the wind is super strong also. The car shakes. Well, time to go back to Las Palmas. It was an easy ride back, and now it's time to go rest. And tomorrow we have another day of exploring, excited for that one. Good morning, another day of adventure. Today is Sunday, we have time to explore the other part of the city. That means today it's time to head south. First up, El Bufadero. You'll find this location along the seaside as you drive to Teldes. It is a quick stop to experience rock formations with unique sounds. And it is also an excellent place to go for a run. Our next stop was a cave site called Four Doors. This site includes several groups of caves made by indigenous tribes. It is not clear the purpose of the caves, but the place will give you an insider look into a real pre-Hispanic archaeological site. Plus the views from the top are also incredible. The next one is my favorite. Lau has been talking about this spot, but she won't tell me what it is. We're 
we're a little bit lost. We asked some people and they said, keep walking straight. And keep in mind that I still had no idea what we were looking for. The girl said like this way and then I'm lying. You see random people just popping out from everywhere. It's like you, you're walking a, an empty space for miles and then they're like, yeah, 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 keep going. It's worth it. And there are no signs or anything. You park in the middle of the road and just hope for the best and walk. She was so determined to reach the destination. It's a place I've always wanted to go. This is El Barranco de las Vacas. The more we walked, the cooler it got. I haven't been to the Antelope Canyon, but it does look pretty similar. We made it. This is astonishing. For sure you need to add it to your list. Seeing it in person is surreal. The nature of it? I want to meditate here. Look, more people parked where we did. Best of luck to them. We have a couple more spots to head to before the ultimate sunset spot. But first, let's grab some lunch. Lau found a paradise of a beach. It's called Playa de Amadores. Wow, it's beautiful. Turkey's water, you have all the shops. Today is Sunday, so it's a little bit busy, but it's beautiful. Chair and umbrella secured. It was cold, but worth it. The water was so blue. This is a must visit when coming to Gran Canaria. That was an incredible beach afternoon, but we have an even better idea for the sunset. Are you ready? Let me take you there. Let us introduce you to the Mas Palomas Dunes. Welcome. These dunes are one of the most popular attractions on the south coast of the island. The diversity in nature this island has is insane. From natural pools to mountain peaks and now these incredible dunes. And lucky for us, we made it just in time for sunset. The sunset is beautiful here, but it goes fast. So maybe come a little bit earlier because it hides on the other side of the island. Also a good thing if you want to avoid crowds, uh, come here during sunrise and you'll have it most likely all to yourself. I told him let's come at sunrise and he did <laughs> And the parking is completely free and you'll have to find it along the street and then you're gonna have to walk across a hotel to be able to get to the dunes. Night time already. Now it's time to go back home. We are about 40 minutes from Las Palmas. We have a busy week. Uh, next week I'm gonna be showing you everything, how it's our day to day, plus a few adventures after work that I already planned. I decided to do something different. I wanted to follow the ideal morning routine. I'm gonna be doing some stuff here in the apartment, then I'm gonna be going out in Las Palmas, so stick around for that. I'm going to start training for something special. So this month I've been learning about high level morning routines and today I decided to try it all and see how it goes. Literally, I'm going to try it all. Most of the things I've never done before, so this should be interesting. And now let's do a core workout. Whenever the Airbnb doesn't have a gym, we buy mats from any local store and I follow a routine on YouTube. First up is a Tintoreria, which is a laundry place. There is just a few in Las Palmas, Gran Canary. Uh, this is about 14 euros for seven kilos or so. They do everything for you, the washing, uh, drying, and also the folding. So this is the place, now you know. Now I'm doing some sprints because I'm training for an Ironman. This will take uh, at least one or two years to, to accomplish. 
but it's something that pushes me to work out and just be healthy overall. The first few months of trialing full time, I noticed I was slacking on my workouts. This Ironman goal will definitely keep me motivated no matter where I am. Lau told me she wanted to come to our next activity. So I'm waiting for her to come down. There is only one thing missing. It's time for a cold plunge. It's May, the water is super cold. So that's why I'm doing it here. If not, you can do it in your shower. Just put it cold, then use hot water and it will do the job. All right, that was cold, but we made it. Now we're gonna do some grounding with the sand. This is just recharging your body and also some early sun exposure. So now I'm coming here to the town market to buy some groceries. Let me show you around. Now I'm looking for some chicken. Now we need some bread. And <laughs> we're set for today. Gracias. Yeah. This market is pretty great and it's right in front of the Airbnb. All right, now that we are back, you must be wondering when is this guy going to have breakfast? Well, soon, but first we need to stretch. All right, so I made four whole eggs, scrambled with a little bit mozzarella cheese on top, some granola without sugar. After breakfast, we have a 10 minute reading session. It's finally time to work. While the morning was fun, doing all of that every day is not sustainable. So I have to pick which of those were my favorite and the most beneficial. After finishing some work, we usually go for a walk to a beach and explore a little bit around the city. I'll take you with us so you can see what I mean. We took a bus to Los Charcones de Bañaderos, which is a natural pool with a seafood restaurant. And we made it to the stop after 30 minutes. This would be great with a sunny side up weather. We're trying the black paella, which is the last paella that we had on our list to try. We've tried all the other ones during our time in Spain. I'm pumped. But first, these are very famous in Gran Canaria. They're salty. You can taste the freshness of the vegetables that they used to make the sauce. It's really good. We had this pending. It's the one that was missing. You can feel the flavor. It's stronger. You can feel, I think it's quick. Right after we enjoyed the view of the natural pool. It was a little bit cold and cloudy to get in. Before time is up on the island, Lau had one more place she wanted to explore. The banana farm. You could easily spend two hours learning about the banana history of Gran Canaria. The ticket includes a guided tour around the farm and a tasting experience with their most popular products. This was such a unique experience and totally worth the one hour bus wait. Keep in mind that if it's Sunday, buses run on a limited schedule, so make sure to plan ahead. Last sunset in Las Palmas, Gran Canaria. Until next time, what was your favorite part? The people. I love the people. They're one of a kind. One of a kind for sure. For me, also the people, the walkability, all the restaurants and shops, amazing cuisine. We'll be back for sure. And this concludes our time in Las Palmas, Gran Canaria. We'll see you in Mexico City.